and welcome to the third Future Stars video and today we're focusing on Chelsea. Now as we know, Chelsea have always had a lot of good players in their academy but they do spend a lot of time out on loan and not breaking through into that Chelsea team. We're going to see today if any of them do manage that, who makes the best careers away from the club and who wins the major honours. Again, what we've done is took the players from the under-23 side, fast-forwarded 15 years, and these are the top three players in the Chelsea under-23 squad. In at number three is Brian Fiabema. Now, Brian Fiabema has not had the greatest career. Not a lot of them have had amazing careers, but this guy's had a solid one, so we're going to put him in at number three. The man has made 354 all-time appearances. £21 million pounds worth of transfer fees have been recouped. And to be fair, his stats, he's a very good player. He's a right winger, lots of flair, lots of determination, likes to run down the ball with the right and attempts overhead kicks. He is a very much a flair player. He's broke into the Norwegian national team. He did well at under-21 level, then broke into the full team, getting 34 caps for the international side, scoring 13 goals. But if we have a look at his career history, it's not been a distinguished career, it's not been the most attractive career, but it has been alright and it does include Sheffield United, so I am quite chuffed with that. He, uh, he were at Chelsea, went to Rosenborg on loan, went to Vitesse on loan, then went to Stoke on loan, oh, then went to Stoke on a free, before joining Sheffield United for £6 million the season after. Spent a bit of time at Sheffield United in the Premiership and the Championship, then Middlesbrough and Watford before going to Dinamo Kiev where he's finished his career. There are no notable milestones or anything like that. He's had a solid career though of 7.04 average rating over the course of his career. Now that's something to be said, although he's a flair player, he's very much consistent so somebody definitely to have a look at. But the one thing he has done, the one major milestone in the competitions, he managed to get Sheffield United to win a playoff. So in my opinion, being a Sheffield United fan, that is absolutely amazing because we are absolutely terrible in playoffs, as seen last year in the playoff semi-final at Nottingham Forest. So he, Brian Fiabema, is your number three. In at number two is Malang Saar. Now Malang Saar, 37 years old now, and the game was one of the older players in the under-23 who were breaking through into that Chelsea side. Never made an international appearance, but he's a very, very good centre-half. Six foot, good first touch, good ball-playing centre-half, it must be said. He's now a veteran centre-back and level-headed playing at Valencia. He has made in his career 617 all-time appearances with 11.5 million of transfer fees recouped throughout that time. And if we have a look, he's only really made a couple of big transfers. He went from Chelsea to Porto on loan and they played a loan fee for him and then went to Udinese before making a transfer when they were relegated to Serie B for 1.3 million and to be fair he was too good a player for Serie B as we can see 7.71 average rating in that Serie B team then when they got promoted or maybe they didn't Atalanta came knocking for 8.5 million Atalanta and he's never had a season where he's dropped below a 7 average rating he's been absolutely a stalwart for Atalanta and with that, he's actually won some honours with him because if we have a look at his competition milestones, he has won the Europa Conference League, he has won the Europa League and he has won the European Super Cup with Atalanta. He's had a cracking career at Atalanta. He's one of the most highest rated world reputation players from the Chelsea under-23s. Malang Sar, very, very good centre-half, ball-playing centre-half. Don't sleep on this man. And he's in at number two. And in at number one is Levi Cole. Now, we've found in the three episodes we've done of this so far, there's normally one player who's absolutely outstanding in the under-23 to each club. This man is that man. Distinguished at club level, distinguished at international level. We're going to come on to the major honours, and believe me, there is a list. But he's made 384 all-time appearances, recouping £98 million pounds worth of transfer fees in that time. As we can see from looking at him, he can play at centre-half, he can play at left-back. He's got all the physical attributes you could ever want. He's six foot two, runs down the left, marks the board tightly. All right, he could be a better in his technical attributes, but physically, what a player this man is. And he's had a very, very good career because we have a look at that. And in his career stats, obviously, he started at Chelsea, but he's had to go away and come back. Started at Chelsea... Went on loan to Woodersfield, then went on loan to Bournemouth, then went on loan to San Etienne. As we know, they do like to go on loan from that under-23. But then somebody took a punt on him, and that team was Arsenal. He moved across London for £28.5 million in the 2026 season. Spent four seasons at Arsenal, doing very well in his final season in particular, getting a 7.3 average rating. Before then moving for £53 million to Liverpool, where he spent three seasons again. Not such a great time at Liverpool, it must be said. 
and then Chelsea came knocking, brought him back to Stamford Bridge for 23 million, and he's had a cracking three seasons. Not playing every game by by any stretch, but again, above a 7.0 average rating. Cannot go wrong with those stats. Now, this is a big bit. This is what makes him an absolute world beater. Might not look it from just his pure attributes, but let's have a look at what he's won because he is a winner. We're just going to go through it. He's won a Carabao Cup, a Community Shield. He's won the International League with England. He's won the Europa League. He's won the European Championships with England. He won the Euros, something that we've not managed to do for a long, long time. He's won a Champions League. He's won a Super Cup. He's won an FA Cup. The only thing that, well, there's two things this man is missing. He's missing at club level a Premier League winner's medal. That's the one thing he's missing at that level. What he's also missing is a World Cup. But apart from that, he's done everything he could have done. So your number one man in the Chelsea Under-23 Academy is Levi Colwell. That's our third one of the future stars. Next up, we're going to see who it is. It's another one in England. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And hopefully, we will see you next time. See you later.